Bonjour et bienvenue à notre Gate High. Euh, je m'appelle Dr. Hakwe et je suis le chef de département de français. I'm really so glad to seize this opportunity to share my experience of language learning and language teaching with you and what he has done uh, in my life in the hope that you will be inspired so much that you would want to translate this into your own situation in order to secure a bright future for yourself as a young person growing in England, in UK and in Europe. I don't have to say this, but I think it would be beneficial if you learned that I was a Nigerian and I grew up as a young child in that country. And I had to learn French in a way that is similar to the way you learn French in England, because Nigeria is a, uh, an English speaking country. So very early in life at school, uh, I was introduced to French by someone who was a very good French teacher and who made me realize that if you learn French, it's like it just opens the door to the world, to you. And I quickly seized that opportunity. And today, not only do I speak French and teach French, and I'm head of French, but also I have taken other languages on board, like Spanish and German. So, looking at my, the past, and how the years have rolled by, I believe is a good thing. It's actually my duty. I feel like this is my duty to talk to young people like yourselves uh, who have the opportunity to be able to take up this language and use it to create a bright future for yourself. So I'm going to introduce you to the course that we do, the A-level course, which I think is a very good instrument in your hands, that we open the doors to higher education, that we open the door uh, to limitless opportunities for jobs, for social contact, cultural contact, and whatever else you want to do with it. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, slide. But before we go there, let me say again, congratulations, because if you're coming to not get school for A-levels, that means already you're coming on the basis of success at the GCSE level. So you're building, you've got something to build on, and that is a good thing. So well done. Let's now go to the course. So as you can see on the slide, uh, the two years of A-level studies are made up of uh, the AS, where you study two themes, and one theme, which is uh, Entre les Murs, a very nice theme, uh, which is set in Paris and which talks about uh, diversity, uh, ethnicity. And if you are the sort of person that has uh, worked or had the opportunity to live or work side by side with people of diverse ethnic origins, then you will be interested in this film. It is so, so, so good. But then you have um, a film sorry, I meant a novel for the second year along with two themes. And the novel is Kif Kif the Man. And uh, the young lady you see smiling in the picture is Faiza uh, Gwen, who is um, uh, of uh, North African origin, born in France, grew up in France, and uh, has written from experience of uh, what he has witnessed growing up in France in terms of ethnic diversities, the positive and the negatives of it, and um, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Then you finish the course with an individual research project. Students have always, always, always enjoyed this. Why? Because they say, and this is them saying it, not me saying it, 
it is one thing that gives them the opportunity to choose a topic that they really, really love, look into it, research it, and then present it uh, in the way that they want. So this is broadly the A-level. Let's break it down. So in the first year, you, you have two components of the course, broadly speaking. One is the aspects of French speaking society, the current trends. I have highlighted here the three sub themes that make up this area. So it's the changing nature of family, the cyber society, and the place of voluntary work. Each of these topics educates you or helps you to understand the reality of what people are, uh, 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 what their cultural everyday reality is uh, in French speaking countries. Then you have the second component, which is the artistic culture in French speaking countries. This is all about heritage. What are those things that show that people have lived in the past and that have enjoyed the space they occupy now? What are those things that testify in terms of monuments, in terms of their cuisine, style of cooking, uh, style of doing things, natural sites that people want to go to? So if you are someone who loves those sort of things, you will enjoy it. And then coming to Francophone music, um, I can't talk uh, too much about this, but Francophone music is getting very well known and specially noticed in the world. Uh, I don't think there's any young person growing in this generation who doesn't know the likes of Stromae, Zaz, and the rest of them. So uh, this is an opportunity to explore Francophone music. But you can see through this music, it's, it's like a gateway into their culture, into their thinking, into their political history, into the, the what they are suffering with. It's, it, 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 it's sort of captures all aspects of the Francophone life experience. That's what music does for you. Um, apart from giving you the, the rhythms and the things that young people love about music. Then you have cinema. Uh, which is also a very popular thing, art in France. Um, when you come into the course, I'm sure you're going to enjoy knowing how French cinema, French films has impacted uh, upon different countries in the world and why the French are so mad about the cinema. Right, then you get into the second year with everything you've learned in the first year. We then go into, from talking about current trends, we go into current issues. We look at the diversity in the society from a positive point of view. We look at people who are marginalized and we look at criminals and how they are treated. And all these things give you the opportunity to talk about things which are reality of daily life, to give your opinions, to share your views. And then the second component of uh, the A-level course is the political life in French-speaking countries. Just some aspects of it. So identify three. One is teenagers and their involvement in politics, uh, demonstration strikes, and how useful are these tools in uh, challenging the people in power and getting things done, uh, which people in political office have been elected for. And then the last but not the least will be politics and immigration. The whole world now is full of people migrating here and there, moving from one place to another. Is this a good thing? Is it a good development? How does this help you to understand the French speaking world and from there understand uh, the whole of the, the world? So in a nutshell, all these courses develop your thinking, widens the scope of your imagination, uh, it's almost like it, it makes you understand the, the world that we live in uh, much more. 
And then I've already spoken to you about the individual research project. Okay, the good thing about this is that it develops your research skills. Okay, and this is something, a tool that whether you go to university from here or you go into jobs, you will be involved in one way or the other in finding out things, in using research skills, whether it is in trade, in a, any sphere of employment or academics, you will need this. So this is a very useful experience and students enjoy it so much. And one other thing is that this is a component of the speaking assessment. So it is an opportunity given to you to just present and talk about the things that matter in your life that you are really interested in. Right, these are the two course books that we use, uh, AQA French, A Level AS and A2, available in Amazon. Right, I've spoken to you about music before and just take your time and go to YouTube, explore French music, enjoy them and come back and tell me what you find. Lastly, advantages of multilingualism. Uh, I have seen so many students who have come through uh, the A-level course, who have gone to university, and on coming out, they've just been snatched by employers who are waiting for them. So studying French is a very, very good thing to happen to anyone. If you look on this screen, you will see it's good for trade, business, and economy. It helps in national security. If we understand people uh, who speak other languages, uh, it helps us in with national security and diplomacy for those who would like to work with international organizations. Helps you to forge new relationships with people across the globe and then strengthen ties within Europe. Uh, people, universities love people who have studied French, for instance, because they know that they can think in many more ways than just someone with one language. So employability, if that is what you're thinking of, you've got it with studying French A-level. If you want cultural exposition, uh, meeting other people from different diverse groups, you've got that. For social cohesion, for well-being, it is French. All roads lead to French. Okay, and uh, I'm really pleased, like I said, to share this experience with you. Everything I thought of as a teenager, now and I'm an adult, and I see you where I was before. And if you follow the steps that I've followed or something similar, I think the world will be waiting for you for the taking. Okay, and uh, really a pleasure speaking to you and hope to see you in September. Au revoir, bonne chance.